President Ruto has been in good relations with uh, both the President of Germany and the Chancellor, and we've exchanged high-level visits between the two countries. So from the, le from the high level visits, negotiations uh, commenced for conclusion of a comprehensive labor mobility partnership agreement. And uh, we are now coming to the end of these negotiations tomorrow. So this agreement will be signed between our minister, our prime cabinet secretary, and Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs and the Minister of Interior of the Federal Government of Germany. The two, um, our Head of State and the Chancellor, Chancellor Olaf, will witness the signing of this agreement. The Comprehensive Labor Mobility Partnership Agreement is very important because it provides a mechanism through which the two countries can collaborate to address challenges that they experience in the, in the world of human resource. The theme of the Bugafest is Gemeinsamstaka. Gemeinsamstaka in Kiswahili is Pamoja, meaning uh, stronger together. And this is why we want to collaborate strongly together to bring our relations and elevate them to another level into the sector of labor. In the past, we have collaborated in the energy sector, in the environment, on climate change issues, um, education, in culture, in health, defense, security. Our collaboration is broad and now, it's being elevated to a higher level. More than that, there is also going to be signing of an MOU on uh, virtual jobs between the State Department for Diaspora Affairs and uh, the Hamburg Chamber of Commerce and Color Trust. His Excellency, the President, will also witness the signing of this MOU. For virtual jobs, you can also um, tackle unemployment. It's a very popular approach to tackle unemployment for those Kenyans or those global citizens who may not want to move from their uh, comfort zones in their countries to go abroad. And uh, Kenyans are IT savvy, as you know. Kenya is a pioneer in the IT world, you know our MPESA, and uh, Kenyans are ready to take uh, advantage of this opportunity that will be created by this MOU uh, to bring their skills into the world, to offer their skills and human resources, and also to improve their skills. The festival that has brought us here is known as the Buga Fest. The Buga Fest is a citizen's festival that uh, celebrates charity and philanthropy. The culture of volunteerism is big here in Germany. And what happens is that the president of Germany invites a European country and partners that country with a federal state from one of the 16 federal states to showcase their culture. For the very first time, the president of Germany went outside of the EU and picked on Kenya, a shining star to bring value into this festival. As you know, culture is the soul of any nation. Culture is dividends, culture is money, culture is economy. And that is why also in the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, we have the creative economy as part of the pillars of uh, BETA. So Kenya will be showcasing its culture at uh, the palace at Schloss Belevu. And we are looking to leave the taste of Kenyan food in the mouths of the many Germans that will be attending this festival. We shall display our beadwork, our artwork, and uh, our entertainment will be featuring here at the Belleville Palace. This means that we are going to create a lasting impression among the many Germans who will be here in attendance in a holiday mood and it's bound to boost our economy, our tourism and it's a great opportunity for networking. It's really a spotlight on our country. The exhibition is an important opportunity for networking. There shall be very many foundations, institutions, companies, captains of industry, and Kenyans who find themselves here uh, will make contacts with very important people. 
it's an opportunity to, to make deals, business deals. And the embassy has a plan. The embassy intends to collect all the contacts of those who will be in attendance for follow-up and for business-to-business -business connections and networking and matchmaking between them and our business, businesses back in Kenya and the diasporans here.